All right, looks like the stream's working again. Good, good, good. All right. So, here's a vlog I've been wanting to make for a while. Not really sure where to begin. Damn, son, where'd you find this? But I do want to begin. Let me get this run in the background, and then I'll uh, pulse them out. This is a uh, highlights from a gold one ranked game, where my uh, my support just or my AD carry just destroys, and I run support. Give it a sec. Let let this run for a moment because this is a really retarded game for everything that happened. This, this was a, a gold one-ranked game where just people uh, decided to feed us on our invade over and over and over again. That's the second kill. Now just wait. <laughs> and we know Ez is hanging out. In a moment, we're going to destroy Ez. So that's three kills on the initial invade. I think we get one more, I'm not really sure, but it's like these guys were, were full on cheese it. So anyway though, alright, so I, I want to cover some of my thoughts and things I haven't really discussed here before, but a few things that have bothered me. And I guess if I'm honest, the only reason I'm jibber jabbering about some of this shit is because I've had a, a few tasty beverages this night to celebrate our long weekend. But, uh, you know, it's stuff that's actually been bothering me for a while. And, uh, you know, I've been going through a bunch of stupid chemical changes due to, like, uh, lower dosage, antidepressant bullshit and all that stuff. So, not stuff I've had to deal with before or get used to. But uh, I feel like I'm pretty even now, so it's not really that big a deal. But uh, which, which is why I want to bring up the thing that was bothering me. So minimize this, and I'll get straight to it. Requires me to log in for a moment. <laughs> the uh, the gist of what's bothered me is my pals. and my ability to log in correctly from time to time. Now, I've got a bunch of pals. Like, you guys that follow this thread and the stream here and there, you know, I've got, you know, a, a good amount of the same people I play with on a regular basis. Hedgy, Cal, Dan's a new one, but he's a guy that follows the stream, and he's a good guy and a really good player. Thunder... Good guy, follows the stream. Faurus, nobody knows. Feudalist guy, I, I know from Demigod that you guys aren't super pals with. Anyway, a bunch of a bunch of us play together, and we're, uh, you know, we're used to playing together. So, here's what really bothered me. Now, before you're all like, hey, fuck you, Paco, blah, blah, blah. Step back for a moment and just listen. Okay? So, here's what bothers me. Let me pull up, uh, I'll pull up, uh, no, I'll pull up Thunder, it's probably more appropriate to start here. Not in Cataract anymore. So this is a team that was formed not too long ago, um, and these guys, they've been doing really good. I mean, Silver too. they've obviously played some games together, seven wins, ten games. Ten games, whatever. Honestly, in my experience, that's actually a lot. That's a good amount for people to actually play together. In, in my past experience with, like, ranked and trying to do, like, team games, it's you get it going, and it eventually peters out because people just, for whatever reason, decide they don't want to play or they're not available anymore. And all of a sudden, even though you've got, like, 27 people on the team, nobody's available at the same time, so it eventually dissolves. That's actually my take for what's going to happen with this team. It's just going to end up going to shit. But, the thing that bothered me, this team got formed at times when I was around. I could be in an invite, but I never got invited. 
nobody wanted me on this team. And to me, it caught me as like, oh, okay, well, maybe they just do the same thing as me. You create a quick team, and you try to get some games in and all that stuff. But when I thought about it, and, I, you know, I put I put some thought into it. I was like, well, should I be offended? And for those of you who don't know, I'm not stalkerish, but I pay attention to stats. So, you know, every few days, you know, I play some ranked. I check on how everybody's doing and ranked. I'm really excited when people rank up. It's all good by me, blah, blah, blah. But anytime you check somebody's stats, for instance, let's say let's say I'm curious, what level is Hedgy? How is Hedgy doing now? So I'll do a quick view profile, and then I'll see. Okay, well he's he's at level 30 in leagues. He's he's platinum three. That's going good. But you always notice this. So you notice the extra team, and you see that okay, some guys are playing together, they're having fun, blah blah blah. But you know. For me, this is a team that was created like 20 days ago, and there were times when all of these people were on like, but like minus one or whatever, you know. So I'd poke my head and I'd see it. Eh, whatever. No invite. So you see no invite, right? So to me, that's like okay. There's a specific reason I haven't been invited to the team. So like one, maybe it's paranoia, or whatever. Maybe I'm a douchebag. It happens. I can be a douchebag. I get it. But uh. To me, eventually it comes to the conclusion where they're, they're intentionally not inviting me. I mean, these are like one, two, three, four, five, six people I regularly play with. And I, I'm a guy that's on every night. If you want me on a team, I'm probably the most reliable guy you know, right? And I play a bunch of different roles, but for whatever reason, these guys didn't invite me, right? So, okay. That's fine. Let me get to the last comment that uh, got my attention, if I can find it real quick. Uh, it was something that Thunder said that kind of kicked my brain going. And maybe I can't find it. He was like saying negative stuff about himself, but the bottom line is like talking about how people don't think they're better than they are, right? So if I'm forming a team, right, the first thing I'm thinking is who's around, who's available, who wants to play, right? That's my first thought. So, okay, well, who can I get? Blah, 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 right? So, if I'm making a team, the first person I pick is the guy that I see every day that I think is at least semi-reliable, and then I build off of that, right? Well, these guys specifically built a team that excluded me, and if it was accidental, then, you know, whatever, but I don't, I don't think so at this point, but... You know, whatever. Anyway, bottom line, it kind of bummed me out. Because that and comments like Thunder made makes me think, okay, well, Pekka's not as good as he thinks he is, and so on. And whatever. That's just really disappointing. Like, uh, I've put a lot of time in this game. I don't think I'm, you know, Jesus playing this game. But, uh, you know, I don't know anybody else out of the people that I play with that put more time into the game to try and be better, spend time, you know, practicing this, practicing that, doing whatever they can to try to be a fucking champion and do really well. I don't know anybody that's on the same level as me for that. So, if you think you have the same sort of dedication, great. But, you know, I put the time in and I try to be better. And I accept that I'm not the best AD carrier, the best this and that. All you fuckers though, I'm a better sport than you, so fuck off. But, uh, unless I'm doing karma. And unless I'm fucking going ham. But I mean, it's just really disappointing. And so, it brings it back. Like, we, we've played a bunch of games together, and, you know, we do our thing. I know, without a doubt, I've been a dick plenty of times, and when I am, I try to apologize, I try to explain the situation, this and that, cover every angle I could cover, but I really don't like the idea that my pals are like, hey, Peiko's just awful, and we play with him from time to time. Like, I feel really bad, because like, I kind of, I'm doing ranked, you know, and I think a few of us are kind of spending a lot of time on ranked to try to be, uh you know, get better and try to rank up before the end of the season, but, you know, I stream my games so that I can watch the replay and learn from them, and because some people like watching the games, 
Not because I'm... I think I'm the world's best player. And when my pals that I've played with for years now are like, eh, hey, we're gonna form a team, fuck you. You know? It's just really... It's really discouraging and kind of hurtful that I'm not included in any of that. So... I don't know. I just, I just don't like it. I don't like being considered. I know there's different conversations that happen when I'm not around and people say this or that. And I know it's actually, I'm sure it's fun to watch, you know, the stream when it's up, when I do something retarded and bust my chops or whatever and enjoy yourself with that stuff. That's no big deal. You know, I'm streaming the game. I do good and I do bad. And I don't mind that, but it's like, you know, it's just really discouraging when my friends are like, hey, fuck you, and just kind of blow you off and, you know, say or do whatever they want to do. When, you know, I don't know. I know I've been a dick, but I genuinely try to be good to everybody and try not to, you know, be a total jerk and whatever. Anyway, I guess the bottom line is I was really disappointed when I saw like a team got formed and, and there was no invite for me and you know You guys can do whatever you want to do, but it's like, you know, I'm around If I was invited, I certainly wouldn't have participated and you know, tried to help out and do whatever I can for the team, but It's just kind of hurtful when we played so long and people are like, hey, fuck you You're done. Sorry and, and again, nobody even addresses it with me. It's just like, hey, oh, we made a team. I know we'd normally play with you, but, uh, you know, we're not going to do that now because you're terrible or whatever you want to think of. So, anyway, I guess I, I guess I just think it's really shitty to be like that. Um, I don't know. I'm definitely sorry if I made anybody feel like they needed to behave that way, but I don't know. I do my best to try to apologize when I fuck up, but I don't know. It just seems really mean and hurtful to just be like, hey, fuck you guy that we play with all the time. And it's kind of like that too. Like, I, I just feel like there's some shit going on behind my back where, oh, it was a bad game. Now we won't play with you anymore. Like, I don't, I don't need that. So, whatever. This is probably the beginning of a continued conversation, but... I don't know. The conclusion for me is that... You know... Try to treat people the way you'd want to be treated. Sorry if I've upset some of you guys, you know. If anybody's any commentary about why I was specifically excluded... I mean, I'm pretty confident I was excluded, specifically. But, uh, maybe... Maybe that's not the case. Maybe I was just... Maybe I'm wrong. But... Anyway. My, my nerd feelings got hurt when all my pals were playing without me and definitely didn't want me involved, so... You know. I gotta think I'm valuable enough to... Ah, eh, whatever. Anyway, that's it. It's a it's a whiny booze to feel of, but uh, that's all I got. So there you go. Some of Pecos thoughts. Good night. <laughs>